Good evening, Gimbal B here with another CPM1 interview. Tonight I'm going to be talking to Mosalia Delt. How's it going, Delt? I'm doing well. How are you, Gimbal? I'm doing good, thanks. So, do you just want to give a brief introduction of yourself for people listening? Uh, I'm Mosalia Delt. I've been playing since the first week of Chromazone. Uh, I've got quite a bit of FPS experience being playing games like Quake, Unreal Tournament, that sort of thing since 90s. Got some other experience with game corporations working through alpha testing and stuff like that. So you've been playing Chromazone, so that's about one year now. What are your thoughts on how Dust has progressed over the past year? Uh, to be honest, I'm not all that happy with it. I found that Chromazone had, uh, well, it was, had its issues. It seemed to be uh, almost a better game. Well, we had only a limited amount of drop suits and weapons, there seemed to be a better balance, and that makes sense if you uh, think, well, we had so few things. So, as a player, what kind of roles do you like to play? Uh, well, I got three characters currently on the go. I have my main, Mosselia Delt. Uh, she's a scout, and uh, going into heavies, I have eight or so weapons prototyped, so I'm an all-around Jack of all trades, almost. Uh, I got my second character, Medrian Delt. He's a Lodgy. Got all my equipment up to at least level four. I, I'm a Lodgy bro, not a assault Lodgy, as a lot of people have been. And uh, I got my third one, which is uh, Maselder Talend, and he's an Amar Lodgy. He's more of the assault Lodgy. I am. If we get a respec in 1.8, he'll be going into heavies. Okay, so wide variety of experience then. Yep. Uh, I didn't hear you mention any vehicles though. Have you tried them at all? Oh, yes. Uh, I forgot completely about that. Uh, during 1.0 to 1.6 was our respec right for vehicles on Mosselia. I had tanks and dropships of the armor variety, and uh, Lodgy LEVs or murder tackles. <laughs> And I, uh, I was probably skilled about 6 million SP into it. As far as like who you play with and what kind of game types you play, uh, like do you t take part in Planetary Conquest and Faction Warfare? During the beginning of Uprising, my two alts were in Not Guilty and then Pure Innocence, and then one went on to the Generals, and we were doing PC with that. Other game types, I do play Factional Warfare on uh, Medrine. And Moss uh, Moss Elder, yeah. And uh, I just try and stay away from ambush because of slaughter fest. But domination and skirmish, I do play a lot of. Okay, I think most people avoid ambush these days. It's a bit of a <laughs> oh, mess. tank spam, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so you've played pretty much all the game types. You've played most of the roles, or almost well, pretty much every role. So as far as moving on to the CPM itself, why run for the CPM? Well, I enjoy the game. I, Well, during Chromosome, I was putting 16 hours a day into it. I actually want the game to do better. I, uh, well, I have an addiction. It's an easy way to say that. <laughs> and uh, I don't want my addiction to piss me off so much. So anything I can do to help, really, especially in game balancing and whatnot, I'd like to help out in and what do you expect being on the CPM will be like? Well, I understand I don't... CPM members won't have control of anything, really. We can only persuade and push CCP to do something or release information. I understand there's an NDA and whatnot, and really I, I uh, expect it to be kind of annoying, but so is working with any other game company, really, right? And what do you think... Aside from your uh, wide variety of experience in the game that you bring to the CPM, well, I bring the. Uh, I've worked with other game industry people. I've worked during alpha testing, beta testing. I know how a lot of the game development works in small scale, or in working through uh, other people who maybe not are part of the development team, right? So I guess, like, I know you through VG. If you get on the CPM, will we actually have a regular thread on VG again? I think so. I can 
start it right back up now if you uh, if anyone would want me to. Uh, I found that with VG, a lot of it died with Uprising. We went from, in our own corporation, which Mosselli is part of, we went from 160 members who are active almost every day, and we went down to three. <laughs> and even now, if, uh, with 1.8 coming up, we've gone down to me being active and maybe one or two other guys coming in once a week. So, yeah, I could definitely start up the thread again, and I actually enjoyed doing that quite a bit. I guess that was the last question. Do you have any final thoughts you'd like to share before we wrap this up? I've uh, got a chat channel here for anyone who's listening to add. It's uh, CPM1 space candidates, and it has all the other candidates uh, in it. If you want to talk to us in-game, squad up with us, you know, ask some questions, uh, feel free to. Uh, it's there for anyone to join. Uh, that again is CPM1 space candidates. Okay, I'll make sure I put that on the video so people can see. Right, uh, Delt, thanks for coming on and talking. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. And uh, to everybody listening, thanks for listening, and we'll have more of these soon.